you have ever struggled to manage your files, your photos, and your documents on your phone? Well, today I'm going to show you exactly how to use Google Drive on your Android device step by step. By the end of this video tutorial, you would know how to store, organize, and access your file effortlessly from anywhere. Hey there, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chinyere. And here on this channel, I help you make money online, whether it is through freelancing, remote jobs, side hustles, like I'm all in for you. So if you're looking to land your first client ASAP, hit on that subscribe button, turn on your bell notification and stick around in this community with us. So let's dive deep quickly into what we have today. Step number one, install Google Drive on your phone. Before we begin, let me remind you, your phone is not a limitation. You can access, store, and manage your file easily using Google Drive. How do you install your Google Drive? If you don't have Google Drive yet, head over to Google Play Store or Apple Play Store for Android users, search for Google Drive, and tap on Install and go ahead to install and have it on your phone. Once installed, Open the app and sign in with your Google account. Yes, you need to have a Google account to be able to use Google Drive. If you have multiple Google accounts, you can switch in between this app from your phone. Step number two, navigating the Google Drive interface. Once you open the app, you will see different sections at the bottom of the screen. You will see the home where you will find your recent files, and quick access documents. You will see start where you can start important files you've marked for easy access. you find it under your start. you see shared and documents others have shared with you, you find it under shared. And files, your complete storage where all of your uploaded files are located. Now, to upload a new file, all you have to do is to tap on files, Click on the plus sign that you see there at the bottom right corner. Choose upload to add a file from your phone. Once uploaded, your document is stored forever on your cloud. It's accessible on any of your device as long as you sign in with the same Gmail anywhere in the world. Step number three, managing your stored and organizing your file. Now, Let's explore some extra features to keep your Google Drive organized. First is finding your recent files and your trash. Now, tap on the three horizontal line menu at the top left corner of your phone. When you do that, you will see options like recent, you see options like trash and store details. If you accidentally deleted a file, all you have to do is to check on trash and you can restore back your file within 30 days. Yes, Google gives you opportunity to like recall back any document in 30 days. Now, if you're running out of storage, Google also gives you 15 gig of free storage. But if you need more, all you have to do is to click on get storage. Inside the app, you have to choose a plan that fits your need and Google offers one-off ship storage plan that also include extra features like VPN and family sharing, so you can use that. Step number four, using the plus button for more features. Now your Google Drive isn't just for file storing. You can also use it to create and edit documents directly in your app. Like I told you, your phone is not a limitation. Tap on the plus button at the bottom right corner and you will see options like Google Doc, create and edit Word document. You will see Google Sheets, work on. This gives you opportunity to work on Excel, like spreadsheet. You will see scan. Yes, you can digitize paper documents using your phone camera. You can also see create folder. This helps you to keep your file organized. The bonus hack there is if you take a photo of a document, Google Drive can scan and convert it into a PDF for you instantly. Is that not amazing? Now, 
Google Drive, like you know, is like your digital filing cabinet. And for anyone who works remotely, or even if you do not work remotely, you need to know how to use it. And now you know how to install and set up Google Drive on your phone, upload and organize your file, manage and store your document, create and scan your document. I want to believe everybody's using this, but let me know in the comments if you've ever used Google Drive before. What is your favorite future while using Google Drive? If you're looking to become a virtual assistant, check out my video where I talked about the complete step to become a virtual assistant. It's packed with useful tips that you will find very handy. If you found this tutorial very helpful, hit that subscribe button right now, like, comment, and share this video with anyone you know who needs it to learn from it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Until then, bye for now.